A very good afternoon from the Alton Towers Resort. I have just ridden Nemesis Reborn for the first time. I wasn't going to do a separate video for it. I was just gonna blend it in with a full Alton Towers vlog, but there's so much to film, so much to take in. I think it deserves as an area, as a ride, in general, its own video. So here it is. I'll cut now to before we actually went on the ride and take it from there. Nemesis Reborn, I'm excited. I hope it's on two full trains because I know that hasn't always been the case in this last month since it has opened. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. I'm mostly spoiler free. I know what the area looks like, obviously. I don't know what the station looks like on the inside. I don't know what the, I don't know the exact queue line route. I know there is a pretty new route to the queue line, I'm pretty sure. Let's say hello to the theme park Mad Hill for 2024. Unfortunately, it's way too wet and what's going on here? What have they done to my hill? Like, yeah. But uh, yeah, with Nemesis, well, there will be spoilers in this video, I'll just put that out there now. But yeah, the queue line route's changed, um, some of the stuff's changed. Um, yeah, I've not looked that deeply into it because just sort of seen it all for the first time. There have been some little surprises. Um, definitely adds to the first experience, so I'm excited. We're giving our first reactions. And yeah, hopefully we get a, a few rides on it today, but the first one, we're on our way to it now. Here we go. That's how they freshen up the arcade. Wonder if it is still an arcade. It is still an arcade, training facility. The turret thing has been replaced with this massive helicopter with the soundtrack. I'm a massive fan of that. I can't really see it when you stood up close to it though of this um but yeah that is amazing there's some eggs around here there's the egg obviously tying in with subterra as well there we go observe the eggs very cool very cool stuff and we turn around oh my God. New thing a new game thing i don't know where the shop is but We'll hopefully check that out if it's not got a queue. Nemesis Containment Zone, no longer, well, it is still Forbidden Valley, but yeah, wow. It's good to see this in person. Here we go. Last time I was here, this was all fenced off. I think there was still a bit of scaffolding up here in there. Nemesis Reborn, let's see what the queue looks like. So, they've turned the old, original up queue used to go down there into the fast track queue which is probably a good idea to be honest my fan and I, instead of it all being on the exit ramp so yeah you can tell what the fences were like yeah, it's looking like we might Um well, there we go, that's cool Um yeah, it's looking like well, we, well this bit used to be in the queue line We've got a massive piece of theme in here, actual track, <laughs> which is probably on, <laughs> probably made like by B and M. I'm a fan of that. This is brilliant. There we go, the turrets there. But yeah, this bit used to be in the original queue up there. Then you go down there where the fast track queue is now. Um, but yeah, it's looking like we're gonna go where I've never been before. Really, I think it's it's always been set up as a queue line since 1994 but it's not been used for ages until it's been reborn they're taking us all the way around there which i'm excited to see hopefully get some new angles of the ride which i've never seen before um for pictures and videos as well and just for generally watching the ride as we wait um but yeah this theming's incredible Probably promoted itself to the best queue line at Alton Towers now, without a doubt. Hope 
those words don't end up being eaten by a load of cattle pen later down the line. But yeah, this is great. And this is what's changed with a key lime route. There's no going back to the ramp there. Don't know if anything's going to be added to here soon. But yeah, it's obviously all freshly laid, new fences, where the first drop is. This is looking amazing. Pretty sure this bit here used to be full of trees and bushes and stuff, but now it's just full of these stones. Gives a clear view of the first drop. And the queue starts here. Quality camouflage speakers. Real JCB theming. Could be making way for more theming, who knows? It's probably more for access through that gate there, but we can hope. More track theming. I think it's on one train. And it's raining. Well, I am enjoying this queue line. It's under control. I'm Dr. Haldane. I need to listen to me. My granddad was a professor of myth and folklore at a local college, and he told me everything that I know about Nemesis when I was growing up. Ever since that journalist, Heather from Norton Star News, turned up with his office with the talisman, they found some of this place in Rothbard, and my granddad vanished. This whole thing, it's a cover up. The weaponizing nemesis, their greed for control and narcissism, it's, it's going for the Reds. Uh, they, they want to use nemesis for their own military needs, and they haven't been caring for her. And I would know because they've had me sedate her and manipulate her DNA. And she's been reborn, stronger, faster, or more dangerous than ever before during global domination. And they're shipping her eggs out to all the sites around the world. And uh, they want to train her offspring and use them for warfare. Strength and control. More like lies for control. Look, there's a reason this area is called Forbidden Valley. You need to get out of here. Spread the word and seek the truth. It's gone down. But potentially, the for the correct reasons, control, it was on one train, and I don't know why it wasn't on two trains from the start, but they have just seized operation to add a second train, they've told us. We can just about see them doing it. We're not in the best place for it, unfortunately. It would be better if we were down there. But yeah, the loop's in the way, the back end of the zero G roll's in the way, the theming's in the way. But we can just about it's see it in control. person from here, and I'll try and get what I can on like camera, but it, it, there won't be much at all, unfortunately. But it's good to know they're adding a second train on. I think we literally only have to go up there and then down here now uh, into the station, so it probably would have been another like half an hour on one train, 40 minutes, but I reckon it'll be about 20 now altogether. So we'll see what happens uh, after this delay, but yeah, not really sure why. All the tracks moving. Um, not really sure why it wasn't on two trains for the first place. If it was a problem with a train and they've just resolved it and they're deciding to add it on now, then fair play. Because they could have easily left it off all day if there was a problem. But yeah, it's good that they've sort of just fixed what needed to be fixed and now halfway through the day, you know, instead of just leaving it, they are adding it on, so gotta give credit where credit's due. But yeah, these trains are having problems. It's been open less than a month and it's gone down to running four rows on one train. One train operations have been very common. A lot more common than what the original Nemesis was when it was walk on all the time. So I don't know, hopefully it gets sorted for the good soon. But uh, yeah, you can just about see the second train being added from here, hopefully. Then yeah, hopefully this queue moves a lot quicker. Would have been amazing if we were stood on there. Vital signs. DNA resequencing active. For 
those who can hear this, we have a dire situation on our hands. This is Dr. Haldane, I'm a genome scientist in the Phalanx Laboratory team. I am loving this new queue line. Some new angles of, well, this turn going into the loop from the zero-g roll, the zero-g roll, the loop. Just different angles from it all, you get a great view. Uh, there's a non-upcharged uh, telescope thing up there as well, which, uh, well, I didn't really have much time to look through it and check it out because Nemesis is on two trains now and it honestly it's making a massive difference uh, but yeah normally those things you have to put a twin inside uh, to actually use so it's cool that it's free um, and I'll try and use it at some point to see what we can see dead close up um, on the ride but uh, yeah not long to go now at all I, I reckon we'll be down there in about 10 minutes now because um, yeah these dispatches are just as they were back in the day um, before Nemesis closed originally so yeah shame it wasn't on two trains from the start but here's what it is so with the new fast track queue being uh, down the original queue it looks like the merge point's going to be here um, just before the station where you used to turn like the main queue it used to come up there uh, and then turn there into the station Oh uh, yeah, I think that's a solid merge point. Some at Nemesis didn't really have originally. Sometimes they would merge down there uh, with Fast Track, but most of the time it was uh, all exit ramp. Uh, I think the, the exit ramp is still available uh, for those who need it, which is good. But yeah, it's nice to see that they've added a merge point. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, everyone just gets the full station experience, basically. Back in familiar areas of the queue line, with the iconic Nemesis loop. It's gotta be one of the most iconic sort of pieces of a coaster in the UK. It looks taller and a bit further that way than original, but that might just be me. Um, especially as we've been looking at it from above for all this time. I think that is definitely just me. <laughs> um, but yeah. No Red River, that helicopter's great. Uh, but yeah, let's get the loop shot. Or the zero G roll shot first. There we go. And this is the first time I've seen the inside of the Nemesis station. Wow. They've done a great job in here. It looks like though, the front row queue has been removed for the sake of this theme in here, on the wall. 100% allocated seating. That is a big thumbs down from me. It used to be allocated seating most of the time for the rest of the train, but you used to have the option to wait for the front down this side here. And that option has now been removed. That is one big downgrade in my opinion for Nemesis Reborn but um, yeah more on that afterwards because we're about to get on all oh, right we're on the back row allocated seat doesn't matter but no in all seriousness we're about to go on really excited but yeah gonna miss the front row too think we use it all the time but it's good to have the option there um, and yeah but overall this station is looking incredible with these whole like vain things yeah what a great job they've done. We're about to get on. I need to put away. Goodbye. All right then, we've had our first ride on Nemesis Reborn. On the back row, row eight. Um, and yeah, I enjoyed it. It was nice to get on this classic. Of course, it's not the what it was, the original, but it's still the same layout and it still rides pretty much the same. Um, I heard a few people um, talking about a rattle um, that this ride might, has now. Um, you feel I won't I won't really call it a rattle to it's be more honest. On the second one, it's it's, it's more just fast. it's more just a vibration. Yeah. There's zero head banging at all, um, in my opinion. Yeah. My advice for Nemesis and pretty much all inverted coasters is. Don't leave yourself any room with a restraint. Pull it down as much as you can. 
Um, I know we like our little airtime rumours in Fusios, but <laughs> on these rides, I wouldn't. I'd just stay for yourself, honestly. Um, but yeah, zero head banging, nice and smooth, pretty intense. Not didn't grey out or anything. I've had more intense rides on the original Nemesis, but it isn't always 100%. It's just one of them things. Um, but yeah, overall, still packed with good forces. Actually, did get a bit of airtime coming off the um, well down this little dip here before the corkscrew. And yeah, I think the corkscrew itself. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Seriously, what it was prior to its retrack. Obviously, the whole thing has been retracked. Uh, apart from the top of the lift hill and the brake run, the lift hill has just been repainted. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, they've done a great job. Um, and yeah, I just really enjoyed being back on it. I enjoy Nemesis. I'm not really as in love with the layout as a lot of other people might be. But I do appreciate just everything about it, basically. Um, you know, what it's done for the UK theme park industry. Just, it was one of my first big rides with an inversion. So yeah, I do absolutely love Nemesis for more than just the layout. And I've always liked the theming and the soundtrack and stuff. Um, you've obviously probably heard the soundtrack, the new soundtrack in the background of some clips. And I absolutely love it. It feels a lot more ambient, um, to be honest, to the old one. Do you miss the old one though? Can't not miss the old soundtrack, but yeah, it's just a bit of a remix basically. This uh, new soundtrack. I absolutely love the queue line, where it takes you in comparison to where it used to take you. Uh, I think it's a good addition. There's some fantastic theming pieces in there. Uh, had a rolling pre-show. A free telescope as well. And some great views of the ride. The track colour. I think it's the same with everyone. This, but It's basically good and everyone has it. Um, we first saw these veins and thought what the hell. Um, but honestly, I think it looks cool, to be honest with you. Um, and yeah, it just goes in with the whole theme and the station and everything else. Uh, but more on the station in a minute. Well, the inside of the station is fantastic, but the exterior of the station will get more footage of in a minute. But yeah, the, in the interior of the station is fantastic. It is a shame they've had to take away the front row key to get to add some of that theme in there on the walls uh, but yeah visually it is incredible um, from what it looks like in there I'm glad that I went in there spoiler free not knowing what it looks like inside um, but yeah it's great we can just about see a bit of it here uh, yeah those things a little great but yeah Oh, Danielle, what do you think of Nemesis Reborn? It was very good. Very good. Happy to be back on Nemesis. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's been filled with sand as well, the whole track, where it wasn't originally. A lot of people were worried that the raw wouldn't be the same. I think it is slightly quite slightly different, but at least it still has a raw. It's not taken away from that aspect of the ride at all because yeah, the sounds that used to come from Nemesis right now. The lift still sounds the exact same. The raw, when it's going round the layout, sounds the exact same. Uh, well, not the exact same, but like I say, pretty similar. It's still got that raw, similar to what Inferno has. And just other B&Ms, really. So, yeah. I guess that's all there is to say for the ride itself. Hopefully it's not our last ride on it today. Now it's been up, now it's gone two trains. If both trains were serviceable at the start of the day, it's a bit disappointing that they've waited until about 12 o'clock to add that train. Uh, but if not, if it was a matter of, well, yeah, this train needs fixing and we'll add it on when it's been fixed, then yeah, fair play. Let's have a look around the area, Forbidden Valley. These smoke effects as well are cool. Um, pretty sure it, well, but most of the time it's times where it comes out on there as you're going through the zero g roll it looks great off ride and on ride it's a cool effect as well um but yeah i don't know i'm gonna miss something that i was gonna say um 
but let's have a look around the area. If the shop doesn't have a queue, we'll have a look in there as well. Um, yeah, one thing I haven't seen so far is actors. Whereas, I think I saw, I think I saw, yeah, I think I saw them in the queue. We'll see you then. But let's have a look at this. The eye has just opened to have a little peek at us. Danielle's just spotted that the eye's only open when there's a train out. So that's interesting. Um, yeah, got these animatronics. Uh, yeah, that looks incredible. What an addition. Got to get that shot in a minute of the zero G roll with the eye in front. But yeah, what an incredible photo opportunity. Just incredible sort of screen based effects. It's got the animatronics at the side as well. Uh, yeah, they are great. And the rest of the station is looking fantastic as well. Freshly painted. Um, that's an interesting <laughs> support. What looks to be a support for the ride. <laughs> With no truck attached to it. Oh, I nearly missed the shot plenty of opportunities but yeah it's actually in sync with the ride which is great to be honest so yeah that's interesting back to sleep that's unfortunate gotta wait for a train to come round to actually see it over but yeah can understand why that's the case let's get up close to the eye then yeah my only worry with this is how long is it gonna last because screen and animatronic based effects at Alton Towers don't usually last that long but with something like this they've got to keep on top of it and I hope they do I've got good faith that they will do um, because yeah that would look a bit silly if it just wasn't on during the day so that's interesting they could probably get away with the animatronics not working uh, but the screen, we've got to keep that on. While we've come round there again, thought I'd share another joy of being spoiler free. The exit's changed, slightly. Um, yeah, um, I tried to exit here, like you used to, and we got told, oh please exit that way, and I'm like, yeah okay, you can tell, you can tell it's my first time doing the Reborn, isn't it, and yeah, we just laughed. So yeah. That, that is another good change though, like another exit. So yeah, I think the exit ramp has widened a bit as well. So when there is a queue on the ramp, it's not a problem really. So yeah, it was just funny the first time when I was trying to get through there and I got told I shift, go out that way. That's the exit now. Uh, but yeah, I think another train's come in, so I might as well get another photograph. Hello, having a look. That model is incredible inside of Bunker 94. Uh, yeah, it is a small shop. So I can see how uh, people are queuing two hours for it because obviously a limited thing. Um, but yeah, these red resins will hopefully have a look at uh, Towers Trading later on. I'm pretty sure every single ride at Towers has got a new resin like for okay, it. Um, and yeah, they all look incredible. And that's the first time I've seen this one actually. So yeah, I dread to think how much they are. 20 quid is a guess. Where does it say? I don't know. We'll find out somewhere. I've got this model of uh, original Nemesis uh, with the white trains. But yeah, if you watch me Pleasure Beach vlogs, you know, there's always a segment where we go and look at authentic ride parts. <laughs> this is kind of an Alton Towers edition because they're selling old bolts from the original Nemesis. Genuine Nemesis bolt. That is really cool. They've put it on its little thing. I believe they're like 100 quid though. So it's a bit extortionate as much as I would love it. Um, I'm not sure, but there's plenty. There's plenty. So. Um, yeah, another resin, that's the Nemesis Reborn resin. Uh, well, of the train, yeah, that's the just train. the station. But yeah, these bolts, I love how nothing's priced and they just let you walk up to the till and just, you know. Um, but yeah, I like the lighting in here. Yeah, literally nothing's priced. <laughs> just like the Pleasure Beach ride part. As much as I would love one of them, like, yeah, I believe like they are pretty extortionate. I'd 
do prefer like wheels, honestly. It wouldn't be good for the bank, but if Alton Towers started selling like ride parts, wheels, um, or used bits of wicker man wood, then uh, yeah, that would be, that'd be amazing. I'd love other parts to start doing it. Um, like chain links when they replace the chip lift wheel as well. Um, but yeah, like I say, it wouldn't be good for the bank. But yeah, never just fault. I'm tempted, I'm not ruling it out, but as of right now, I'm going to be frugal and say no to them. But it was cool to see them in person over there then. Uh, but yeah, this merch is incredible. Absolutely incredible. There we go. You go from the eye to the logo there. Love it. On the trophy. It's t-shirts. Hoodies that have the original Nemesis logo on. There's a denim one. That's interesting. Yeah, loads of t-shirts and stuff. I assume these boxes are just hats. I assume, I'm assuming they're selling these boxes somewhere as well. Because I think they do sell them with the old ride. But yeah, hats. It, it, there's a big range between Nemesis 94 and Nemesis Reborn. These hoodies are fantastic. Uh, £60. I mean, they are pricey. But at the end of the day, they are really good quality. They'll keep you warm them as well. I like the look of that. Smashed it out of the park with merchandise, let alone the ride itself, the area. This whole project has been better than I could have imagined at the back end of 2022. I, yeah, this is great. I thought there was a power cut then. Uh, but yeah, this model. Wow. Actually has its own lighting effects. Got the full story over here. Nemesis, that's interesting. But yeah, I thought this shop would be bigger. Like I say, I can see why people were queuing two hours uh, just to have a look around. Of course it but, uh, is yeah, there we go. Little bag there. Pants bag. Um, there's some Subterra merch as well. I like it. I like it. Embroidery always is a big thumbs up from me. Uh, fridge and magnet. It's not sure I'm on that. Because <laughs> she will want one. <laughs> um, but yeah, sure we'll have one there at some point. Your worst nightmare underground. Then a set of four badges. Oh, she just knocked it off. I don't know if that picked up on camera. Just knocked it off. This is Pop Socket. We have the John Wardley book as well, which I do have. Signed. I would love to meet him again though, at some point. Um, but yeah, as well as John Burton and Bianca and stuff. Because yeah, he's added to his team as John Wardley. But yeah, what an absolute legend. A pleasure to meet him, but I'd love to do it again at some point. One of the best themed notebooks I've ever seen. Don't know what this is. Like, it's a bit big for a shot glass. Like, I thought shot glasses were tiny. Uh, but yeah, honestly, I'd have a drink in this. Nice glass of Coke. Yeah, honestly, there's so much. Is this a little jigsaw piece? Is that a merch? Uh, <laughs> yeah, into that magnet. I rate All that. The there we go. If you like your jigsaws, have a jigsaw on your fridge. Here are the prices. £18 for a resin. Like I said, a really good quality, but honestly, if I get one, like you've got to get them all, so I'm going to hold off. <laughs> um, 100 for one bolt, 150 for two. Uh, yeah, you might as well. If you are going to get them, you might as well get two in one, on one plaque, but... So uh, yeah, oh there we go. I assume this is who does it, who made this this model. There we go. Very talented, Alex. That's another magnet, I'm pretty sure, different to the one we saw earlier. And another pop socket, foam grip, the call in here. So interesting. What an incredible range of merch. We spotted our first lot of actors, I'm pretty sure, on the telly. Having an interview, having some sort of protest about the phalanx, no doubt. Another thing to note, all the ride staff are dressed in phalanx outfits, which is really cool and on theme. Let's have a quick walk around there then. Do prefer these 
fences. I swear that is higher than it used to be though. Yeah. Is it's not just me then? <laughs> is everything just raised off the ground a bit more? Um, like the same layout, just on a different, well, height. Um, Cause yeah, but there used to be like different fences here. Um, yeah, prefer these ones, you can see the track better <laughs> and stuff. Um, well, yeah, I don't, rem if I remember rightly, you couldn't really see it that well uh, from here. There we go then, we have ridden Nemesis Reborn. And I guess that wraps up this separate video from our first ride and impressions to the area to think that I wasn't going to do a separate video. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, honestly, there's been so much to, to take in, to film and stuff. It deserves it, it really does. But uh, yeah, still doing a vlog from the rest of the park um, from Alton Towers, so feel free to check that out. Um, it'll come out after this one, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Let me know what you think of Nemesis Reborn in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Check out the screen to see more and I'll see you next time from Alton Towers.